Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about how to store your cryptocurrency safely on your desktop computer. And in this video, I'm going to specifically go through how to download, set up, install and use the exodus.io wallet. But before we begin, I just want to let you know that this is not investment advice. So please do your own due diligence and never invest more than you are willing to lose. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. Now the Exodus wallet is a very beautiful user-friendly desktop wallet. You can almost immediately tell from the way the website is designed that the developers of this wallet have a unique eye for detail. The wallet itself is very colorful and has many features that crypto enthusiasts will love, such as a portfolio for monitoring your assets, which includes live graphs and charts to show you the changes in price action. The wallet includes a built-in exchange. You can convert between a vast number of digital assets. And more recently, they've included a mobile version to their desktop wallet, which runs on both Android and iOS devices. Now I just want to stop here and quickly mention that this wallet is considered to be a hot wallet, as in all the private keys will be stored on your computer. And I would only recommend these types of wallets for storing small amounts of cryptocurrencies, like those that you're willing to buy, sell, or trade more frequently with. And with this kind of wallet, you're allowed to store your own digital assets safely on your own computer away from the exchanges, eliminating that counterparty risk. But for added security in this crypto space, I would always recommend getting a hardware wallet such as Ledger or Trezor. With these wallets, your private keys are always offline and they never leave the device. They are typically used for long-term storage. And if you are interested in purchasing any of these hardware wallets, my affiliate links are in the description below. Now Exodus has a partnership with Trezor and you are able to use the, the Trezor hardware wallet on the Exodus platform. Now to download this wallet, it is imperative that you go to the right website. The address is https colon slash slash www.exodus.io Please don't go to any other website as I don't want you to download any malware. You can either click the Get Exodus Now button or the Download button up top and that will carry you to a page where you can download either the desktop version or the mobile version of the wallet. And because I'm recording this video from a Mac computer, I will go here and look for that version to download now. Now that the file is downloaded, to install on a Mac, you simply drag the file over to the Applications folder. Installation is pretty straightforward on PC or Linux as well. Once you've had any sort of experience installing programs on those systems before. To open the program, simply double click on the icon. You may be prompted by your system to verify that you have downloaded this software from a safe source. Once you click OK, the program should open. So at the time of this recording, this is what the wallet looks like. And to get it activated, all you need to do is send some funds to the wallet. Alternatively, if you've ever downloaded this wallet before on a previous device, you can recover the wallet using the 12 word recovery phrase or backup link sent in email. But for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do now is activate the wallet by sending myself some Bitcoin. And to do that, you simply go on the receive button and there you should see your QR code as well as your Bitcoin wallet address. You can click here to copy the address. You can print the address out. You can even email the address to someone or you can view it as a link. But for right now, I'm simply going to click to copy the address and go to my favorite exchange, which is Binance.com. I'm going to buy some Bitcoin and send to this wallet shortly. If you are interested in signing up for Binance, and you want to support this channel, you can use my affiliate link in the description below. 
And if you would like to learn more about Bitcoin in general, I have an online course titled The Ultimate Bitcoin Beginner's Guide. Everything you need to know to get started using Bitcoin. You can sign up for this course using the link in the description below. So as you can see here, I just sent myself some Bitcoin and I have another transaction that should be on the way shortly. One of the features I really love about Exodus is that sleek sound effect you hear each time you receive some crypto. As you can see, I have about 100 US dollars worth of Bitcoin in my wallet right now. And it generally takes about 10 minutes for the transaction to move from pending to confirmed on the Bitcoin blockchain. The next and most important thing I want to show you is how to back up your wallet. Step one involves you creating your password. And I recommend it be a long, unique password that you're able to memorize. This prevents anyone who has access to your computer from getting into your wallet. And once the password has been confirmed, you move on to the next step, which will be writing down your recovery words. These 12 recovery words, or as they are often called, seed phrases, give anyone who knows them access to the wallet and all of its funds wherever they are in the world. So these words are what you usually guard very closely. I recommend that you write them down on a piece of paper and store them in a very safe place. And once you've done that, you click next and on the next screen, they'll give you a short test to verify that you have written down your words safely. And it simply asks you which word from the list below belongs to the paper backup and the answer for this case will be merit. And there you have it. Your wallet has been successfully backed up. Just so you know, this wallet is only for demo purposes, so you won't be able to steal any of my funds by the time I upload this video. Now I'm not going to show you every feature of Exodus Wallet in this one video, but let us go to the Exchange tab. This is where you can exchange one cryptocurrency for another using a simple user interface. I can simply type in how many Bitcoin I want to transfer and I can get the equivalent Ethereum or even Litecoin after a few minutes time once I click the Exchange button. So we're almost at the end of the video. And I just want to quickly go over the pros and cons of the Exodus wallet. The pros include, it is easy to use. It doesn't require any KYC to set up. It is designed beautifully. And if you click on wallet tab, you can see the transaction history of any of your assets. The cons, however, are, it doesn't support all ERC20 nor any ERC721 Ethereum tokens. For tokens that award dividends for holding them like NEO or Anthology, I do not believe this wallet allows you to claim those rewards. The transaction fees using this wallet can be high and not adjustable like most other wallets. And lastly, it is a software wallet and therefore not meant for absolute security. So at this time, I just want to thank you for watching this rather lengthy overview of the Exodus wallet. I hope you appreciated this video. And if you're interested in this kind of content, then feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. You can also ring the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos. This channel isn't monetized due to my location, so if you are feeling generous, you can donate using any cryptocurrency of your choosing. The addresses are in the description below. Thank you for watching.